Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Academy. Today we're going to be learning about Gay-Lussac's law, which is another kinetic molecular theory law. Now, this law actually incorporates the relationship between two different variables. And these two different variables are going to be pressure, or P, and temperature, or T. Now, in order for Gay-Lussac's law to be true, we have to keep two variables also constant. And these two different variables are going to be the number of particles or n and the volume has to be the same or b. Now, the Gay-Lussac's law essentially says that the relationship between pressure and temperature is a positive one. So as temperature goes up, pressure also goes up as well. And as temperature goes down, pressure goes down as well. So essentially, Gay-Lussac's law says the relationship between temperature and pressure is a proportional relationship. So a graph for this would look something like this. Temperature, pressure, and just a straight linear line. Because as you increase the pressure, the temperature also increases. And as you decrease the pressure, the temperature also decreases. Now, let's look at why this is true. Let's draw two different particle diagrams. Now, the first one is going to be one with three particles. And they're bouncing around at the same time at the same speed. Now let's have another one. Pretend that these two different particle diagrams are at the same volume. Now let's increase the temperature of this particle diagram right here. What would happen is something like that looks like this. So basically, as you add temperature to a particle diagram, the particles start speeding around a lot, a lot faster, and there's more collisions that's happening because the particles are going around faster. And since pressure is the number of collisions, and you increase the number of collisions by increasing temperature, you increase the pressure by increasing the temperature. So the same thing is in the reverse. If you have this particle diagram right here, and you remove temperature, as you decrease the temperature, the pressure is also going to go down because the particles are slowing down and they're not colliding as often. And since pressure is the number of collisions, then pressure goes down since they're not colliding as often. So as a recap, as you increase temperature to a particle diagram, the particles speed up and start colliding more, which means there's an increase in pressure. And as you decrease temperature, the particles start slowing a lot, slowing down and not colliding as much. So now let's attempt a problem using Gay-Lussac's law. Now this problem basically states that a collapsible cylinder contains a gas at 500 millimeters of mercury pressure, or also known as MMHG, and as external force causes the cylinder to collapse, the pressure reaches 1000 mmHg. The final temperature in the cylinder is 27 degrees Celsius. What was the original temperature in this collapsible cylinder? Now let's put in the table what we know. So we know that we started out at 500 millimeters of mercury pressure, and then we increased the pressure to 1000 millimeters of mercury by causing the cylinder to collapse. And the final temperature we got was 27 degrees Celsius. And 27 degrees Celsius is also 300 Kelvin because the conversion is by subtracting 300 Kelvin by 273 and you get 27 degrees Celsius. So 27 degrees Celsius is the same thing as 300 Kelvin. Now, we know from Gay-Lussac's law that pressure and temperature are proportional, which means that if pressure were to increase, then temperature would also have to increase proportionally. So because of this, we would have to divide the final temperature, a uh, final pressure, excuse me, by the initial pressure, which is going to be 1000 over 500, to get the proportion of which we can multiply the initial to get the final which is going to be 2. 
However, this problem is a little bit tricky. We're not finding out the final temperature. We already have the final temperature. We have to find out the temperature at the beginning when it was at 500 millimeters of mercury pressure. So because of this, in order to find the initial temperature, we know that the final temperature is a lot greater than initial temperature. So we have to find a proportion to multiply the 300 Kelvin in order to get a smaller temperature. And that proportion is gonna be the 500 millimeters of mercury pressure over a thousand millimeters mercury of pressure, which is gonna be 500 over a thousand and you get one half. So this is the proportion which you multiply 300 and one half times 300 is 150. So the initial temperature is gonna be 150 Kelvin and the final is going to be 300 Kelvin because as you increase the pressure proportionally, you have to increase the temperature at the same proportion. So 500 turns to 1,000, 150 turns to 300. This verse is for those with a dream and a passion. You gotta chase it down, man. Don't ever let it pass you. Be your own boss. Don't do everything that they ask you. A lot of people gonna pull you down.